Hi, I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about something very important that is happening this month of June and that is that Saturn's about to turn retrograde. And we all know that all the planets go retrograde at some point, of course, except for the sun and the moon, but remember they're not planets. But this is so important because when a planet turns retrograde and right before, it is actually pretty much standing still. It's called a station. And whatever that planet's about will be so prominent and obvious in the world it makes an effect on everyone. So Saturn will turn retrograde June 17th and it will remain retrograde till November 4th. But remember those two dates are the days that the planet changes direction. Therefore, it is pretty much a week before and after that standing still. And you will notice a huge, difference and you're probably already feeling it right now because Saturn is pretty much standing still. Its movement is so slow. Okay, before I proceed, I have got to tell everyone about my magazine, Joni Patrice Astrology Insights. If you haven't checked it out yet, you're going to want to check it out. It has articles from amazing metaphysicians, all over the world and astrologers. Monthly it comes out. So check that out on my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And while you're there, don't forget you can sign up for my free newsletter. It is absolutely free and you will get all of my predictions delivered to your email address every single week. Free. So go to galacticcenter.org and check those two things out. They're amazing. So now let's continue on with the Saturn retrograde because it's retrograde. Like I said, it's going to bring out everything that Saturn's about, which is what is Saturn? Well, if you know a lot about astrology, you don't fear it as much. But if you know a little bit about astrology, yeah, Saturn's something that we all fear. And I got to say, Saturn is the taskmaster. It will whip you into shape and make you do what you need to be doing. And if you don't, you're miserable. Saturn will see to it. So Saturn is the planet that rules discipline, focus, structure and everything to do with doing things properly. Saturn is the planet of karma. So if you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing, Saturn will make sure you know about this and will make your life miserable. And yes, it deals with a lot of karmic things from past lifetimes and this lifetime, what we've come here to learn. Because Saturn is considered as the teacher. I know Jupiter gets that, that it's the professor. Jupiter is, is the spiritual teacher, but Saturn is the taskmaster, teaches us the lessons we have to learn. And usually people don't change and don't want to learn unless they have to. And Saturn makes you. But I will say this about Saturn. When you work hard, Saturn rewards you. And you do feel this essence of accomplishment because Saturn makes you feel what you've been working towards. You will get payback. It gives us what we deserve. So it is the karmic planet dealing with karma, but it's also the planet that keeps us in line, keeps things in order. Jupiter is expansion and opportunities while Saturn is contraction. And Saturn takes things away many times. It's like when we have to go in time out or something like that. <laughs> it makes us have to learn. And 
we have to have Saturn. Just imagine if we're always, you know, having a big party like Jupiter. Saturn is the planet that says, hey, we have to go to work and we have to make things work. It's discipline. We all need discipline. We all need focus. We all need reliability. We all need security. Saturn will do this when you work hard. It's a planet of hard work. But really, Saturn is reality. It's true. It deals with the way things truly are. A lot of us don't want to accept it or deal with it, but this is Saturn. So we absolutely need Saturn's energy. It's part of life that keeps everything going and together it's structure and form. So when it goes retrograde, all these things are going to come at you in your daily life. What do you need to change in order to make your life work? How can you be more disciplined? How can you be more focused? How can you be more realistic? And pay attention to what we need to learn karmically. So as a whole on planet Earth, we are going to be faced with a lot of truths that we have to get real with. This is reality. This is what Saturn's all about. So Saturn, when it turns retrograde on June 17th, it will be 13 degrees of Aquarius. And if you have any planets around this degree, you're going to feel Saturn like, like a bulldozer. It's going to hit you because it's going to wake you up. So even though Saturn can, can cause us to be exhausted, tired, overworked, it does give us the diligence, the persistence, and the discipline to make things happen. So we must honor and appreciate Saturn's energy because it is what we need, especially right now. So it's going to be standing still. And then Saturn has an oppressive feeling. It feels like lack of hope, that there, things aren't going to turn out, that things are dire. But we have to look at Saturn as waking us up to reality. And when you find things out that you didn't know about, now's the time to work on it. But Saturn will turn direct on November 4th. And when it does, it's going to be around six to seven degrees of Aquarius. And this is where it gets very sticky and very difficult because as I've been predicting for quite some time, there is going to be a lot come down. A lot is about to come down starting September through November. And this will involve major karmic issues, especially for, for and in the United States. And I know this because the United States natal moon sits at seven degrees of Aquarius. And so as Saturn is stationing around those degrees, which is going to really initially start from September through November, but I'm going to say the most intense period coming up when Saturn stations or slows down to turn direct, it will be September through October. And then we have another array of eclipses coming in October that are going to change the world as we know it. We can feel it coming right now. That's why I'm bringing this up right now. The United States is going to go through a lot. And I'll tell you something else. Remember how I always say, I use the charts of presidents of countries to better understand what is going to be happening in that country. Well, it turns out that President Biden has his natal K2 at seven degrees of Aquarius, where Saturn will be stationing pretty much September through October, but specifically the month of September through the first few weeks of October, look out. Now what I foresee with that 
is while Saturn is standing still. Remember when a planet is standing still stationing, it's 10 times more powerful. And what it is aspecting, the events, the circumstances will be much harder, heavier. And like I said, Saturn will be on the you, the United States natal moon in the USA chart. It will be on President Biden's K2, but its full aspect, the Vedic full aspect, which is 100% in power, Saturn will be aspecting President Biden's moon at seven degrees of Aries because the third full aspect is as strong as a conjunction. So you see, President Biden's being hit doubly by Saturn on his K2, fully aspecting his natal moon. And one thing I do know is this is going to be extremely hard on President Biden at this time. Either he'll have to step down due to health issues, or another thing that could be is he's asked to step down. For some reason, he will lose his position whether he is whether it's his physical being or if it's the government but this is the time that there's going to be a big shift and i actually looked at kamala harris's chart to see what's going on for her as well at this time and it turns out that kamala harris has is born under a perfect beautiful full moon and her moon sits at four degrees of Aries and her sun sits at four degrees of Libra. While the nodes are going over her, her opposition, the nodes are K2 is on her sun and Rahu is on her moon. And so what's happening is there is a big shift in change in her position and her life. No, I think that maybe there's going to be someone else come replace them somehow. We're going to see there's a big change in the United States at that time. And I'm thinking there could even be some outbreaks of either civil wars or a war from somewhere else but there's going to be intense fighting. The United States is going to go through a very difficult time around the time of the next eclipses, September through November. Mark my words, this is all coming. Now, this is all coming with Saturn, the cycle of Saturn with its retrograde and its direct positioning. But this retrograde of Saturn is gonna play a number all around the world, it's going to be very oppressive. You're going to start seeing the economy. Things are not going right with the economy. Things are going down. I'm going to talk more about this when we get closer to these dates. But I see all sorts of turmoil and maybe even outbreaks of disease or bombs or something that will cause great destruction coming. And here's one of the reasons why I'm telling you this now. Saturn going retrograde and stationing right now, the month of June, it is time for you to discipline, to focus, and to get healthy. I'm going to say this over and over again. Now is the time. Pay attention to your health. We all need to get strong and healthy. And this also, without a doubt, goes to your mental health. Because mental health is... Let me just say this. There are so many issues and problems. There's so much fear and there's so much going on in the world that we need to discipline ourselves and wake up to the reality of things and start doing things properly in your daily life, how you eat, how you take care of yourself, how you treat others, and most of all, how you think. And I know it's hard to say, be positive when things are going to start getting oppressive and difficult. But 
these are all only cycles. And I have to say, we must all have hope that we've got to go through this dark side or we have to go through the fire to get to the other side. And the other side is a place of hope and change that needs to happen. Saturn during this retrograde process will make this happen. Now, let me give you some other dates concerning this Saturn. Saturn between September 19th and October 7th will be around seven degrees. So watch that with the United States and President Biden's chart. Furthermore, Saturn will shift a different a different nakshatra. It is in Shatabishak for most of the time. And I love Shatabishak because it is a hundred healers. And yes, we're going to come upon so many new healing modalities, cures and things. It will be amazing for disease and to help us. This is the nakshatra of the hundred healers. And it is also the nakshatra of the sky watcher and this deals with aliens other planets and yes this is the year and next year that we will definitely have 100 percent proof and we already do just people won't believe it of alien life forms that are here and here to stay that's the shadow bishak nakshatra almost the entire time that Saturn is in Aquarius. It will be in the nakshatra of Shatabishak, which is for about another year and a half till 2025. But October 15th through November 23rd, Saturn, as it's going retrograde, will step foot into the nakshatra called Danishta. And it will be in Danishta from October 15th to November 23rd. What is that? About six weeks or so. And, or five weeks, whatever. Those are the dates it's in Danishta. And Danishta is a nakshatra that is ruled by Mars. It's intense. So I'm feeling like when Saturn reverts back to this nakshatra, there's going to be even more fighting and more calamity and... This is, a Danish, this is a nakshatra that is harsh. Shatabishak is harsh too, but in a whole different way. Danishta does deal with finances and money, and it will deal with problems in relationships as well. So watch during that five, six week period to be more cognizant of relationships. But that's not till October, October 15th through November 23rd. And then Saturn on November 23rd will go back into Shatabishak, where it will remain pretty much for the following year, year and a half. So Saturn, I want you to focus on this retrograde period from June 17th till November 4th. This is a time that discipline and focus must be what you are going to be looking at, what you're doing for yourself. How are we going to change our lives to make it better? Because Saturn is karma and Saturn is retribution. And yes, everyone, whatever they are accused of, there's going to be retribution that can go for political leaders around the world and even for you in your individual lives. So if there's something you haven't been honest about, look out. You're going to have to pay up. Karma's going to get you. So now's the time to change bad habits. Get real. Get focused. Work on yourself. Saturn will give you the gift of being able to do so. To work hard. To really work hard. And to get things done. So this Saturn retrograde, it's not a bad thing. It's like a time when we must pay homage and tribute to the planet Saturn and all of its positive attributes because now more than ever you're going to be able to focus yourself, to discipline yourself, to do the Saturn thing we need to do. 
because Saturn becomes who we honor as it's stationing in the sky. And it is in Aquarius. And above all else, Aquarius does rule. It does rule humanity. And it's like, we've got to get it together. This world has become crazy lately. And the thing that I really, really dislike the most about what's going on in the world right now, I will be candid. It is all the hatred that people are putting out against each other. And also the fact that we have been isolated for so long. Coming together, finding community, finding family, friends. Connecting to friends is so important. Aquarius is the sign of friends and community, humanity. We have to come together. We got to find our likenesses and we got to learn to love each other again. We are all one. We are all a humanity and we are here to work together to help each other not against each other and torment each other and hate each other and split up relationships of all kinds, friendships, everything. Make it a point to come together with your friends, with your associates and find community again. This is what's going to help heal the planet because you know, there are forces out there in the world right now that are trying to divide us up, to get us to hate each other. I know because I look at the comments on my YouTube, people are at each other's throats politically about religion, politics. Stop it. This is too much. We came on this planet to heal each other not to destroy each other, even though some, that would be further from what we can see what's going on right now. Get it together. Stop hate. Stop polarization. Stop it. It's a much better world if we learn to cooperate and see the good and the likenesses in each other. And let me tell you, there is a force out there trying to get us to hate each other. Don't let them do this. Be above it all. That's what Saturn can give us the reality check of what's truly been going on. Look at what's going on in your life and in the world. Don't pay attention to all this media. That's where it's all coming from. By the way, Saturn, let me just tell you, is stationing on the United States moon, which is in the third house of the United States. What is the third house? The third house is communications, the media, news, all of that. It is insane right now what has been going on and people believing all of it. I don't care what news you watch. There is propaganda in all of it and it's trying to get us to hate each other. Don't do it. Don't let it happen. And let me tell you something else. One more thing that's really, really important about this time. And that is that Saturn is your friend and use this time to discipline, to focus, to really, really come together. And that was that tone that ringer said, pay attention because it's time for us to treat Saturn as a friend, get discipline, get focused, but bring people together and don't be so opinionated and adamant. Be loving, be caring. Saturn will allow you to do what's right. So with that, I think I'll close. Use this time to get healthy. One thing I want to remind everyone of, if you thought, wow, I would love to learn astrology. I want to know what Joni knows. Check out my university. We have a new start date for my university semester one. My live webinars will start July 26th. Go to university of Vedic astrology.com. And remember this, if you want to join a spiritual community where you, we can talk candidly without censor, censorship of any kind, but talk about how to grow, to empower one another, come together as a community, all online, join my shooting stars. You can find that on my website, galacticcenter.org. Shooting stars 
is a community of spiritual seekers where you go to open your heart and where you go to understand how to stay on the spiritual path every week. We have an amazing community. So check that out, Shooting Stars. That's on galacticcenter.org. And if you're ready to learn Vedic Astrology, start in my class, which will begin July 26th, universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.